Good morning. Welcome to Coach's Corners. My name is Jim Watts of Kansas City, Missouri. And today we have a very special guest, one of our own, one of our own brainchilds from our community, Mr. Marcus Walker, who is a two times Dorena Award winner. Welcome, Marcus. How are you doing today? Good morning. Good morning. It's good to see you. Marcus, why don't you tell our listening audience and viewers out there about who is Marcus Walker and take your time because we know that we're in a very high profile uh, environment today. We're very thankful to be in this building here today and to have you here. So why don't you just kind of give us a little blurb about who you are. Well, um, first off, I'm a Kansas City native, born and raised um, 18th and Vine all my life, Sycamore Groves. Um, I'm a loving person, caring person, a son, a brother, a friend, and um, that's what I like to pride myself on first, but the community, Kansas City, has grown to know me as an athlete. Very good. And you play basketball? Yes, sir. I played professional basketball this last year in Ukraine. Um, the name of my team was Hervella in the States. It's okay. spelled with an H, but in Ukraine it's spelled with a G. Okay, and what, what position did you play over there? Um, I played both the one and the two, but um, mostly the two bar. Right. Now, playing ball in the United States and then playing ball on the international level, what's that, what's that about? Kind of tell our, our young folks and listening audience about that, that, that experience. Man, it's, it's a great experience. I think um, with being in the States, you get accustomed to uh, a lot of the the glitz and the glamour, but over there it's more like rough and raw. Um, the the fans are cutthroat. If that's your team, <laughs> that's your team. It ain't like we like this team, but we're gonna cheer for this other team. There's no other way. Who, whoever your team is, that's who you cheer for. Very good, very good. Now, how many uh, African Americans was on your team? Um, we had five Americans, and all all five of us were African American. Um, that's that's the only blacks you're gonna see. Okay. In the country is those athletes for the most part, unless you have other students from other countries studying abroad. Okay. Now, the skill set, the skill set of you playing on the international level, what was the uh, the step up for you to play international, skill wise? Skill wise? Um I wouldn't necessarily say it was about your skills. I think it's more about your mentality. Everybody yeah. over there has the skills to play. Right. And even with coming from the States, it's a lot of talented players, but I think it's all about your mentality and, and how you go about handling yourself. So as far as the skills, everybody has skills. Even people over here that would never get a chance to go over there, talent-wise could go and play over there. It's just about your mentality and and what you see for yourself and how you carry yourself. You know what, that's very interesting that you would say that as a young man. How old a guy are you? 25. Okay, it's very interesting that you would say that because it sounds like there's some level of maturity of uh, moving into this thing, what we call life. By the way, I'm a representative with Vaisalus, which is a meal replacement, and we talk about, Vaisalus means uh, life, health, and prosperity. So what I want to do is talk about the mind, your mind game of what do you what do you think were the important parts about developing your mind? Because keep in mind we are mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit. So tell me about your mind. Um, as a person, my mind has grown over the years. I'm like one of the most childish people you can be around. I love making people laugh. Um, I love being around people, but at the same time, as I got older. I've learned like when to play and when to be serious, especially with the things I want to do in life. That's very good. And so we're talking about that you, you that you have sown seeds in your in your mind to 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 be cultivated to grow and mature. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking. We're talking about maturity. We're talking about sowing seeds of development so that you can move your life to another level. Yes. The mindset is very popular. Now tell me about your body. The bo tell me about the body. The body of Marcus Walker versus a year ago uh, and coming back from 
over overseas playing in the on in the in the last international level? Um I guess like when you think about the body, you think more or less about your health or whatnot. Right. But I think you can think of the body as a lot of things, but just as far as my health, uh, changing my eating patterns, I mean, when you over there overseas, uh, there's not a lot of fast foods, there's not a lot of McDonald's, there's not churches, you know, so you get accustomed to eating healthier. It's a lot of vegetables, a lot of pastas, um, I ate a lot of pizzas, so from that standpoint, uh, learning how to maintain my body so I can live longer. I mean, if it's things right. that you can do to right. prevent death, that's right. Why not try? Them? So that's I right. think eating, eating better, and understanding your own body is a, is a key. So what you're saying is to our young, to to our young people, that basically that's who we're trying to reach out to. Some of the some of the guys out there that might want to move into the pathway of a Marcus Walker is that. That proper nutri nutrition and eating properly is very important to your body. Oh, I think so. I think um, exercising, not only eating, but exercising is a key a key point. You don't have to go and try to be a, a national bodybuilder or anything like that, but just getting out there, walking on nice days like today, or even when it's snowing in the winter, go to the gym. You know, get on the treadmill. Nobody's saying, you know, you got to be what the society wants you to be. Just go out there and be healthy enough to not have you know diabetes and all that type of stuff to where you're struggling in your later in your later ages you know make life as easy as possible and your performance level is going to be better because we're talking about having a good mindset and then having a good body we can perform a lot better and like you said we talked about mind first if you got a good mind you're going to know that body is important that's very good i like that so say that again if you got a good mind, you're going to know that your body is important or anything that you want to do in life is important. That's very good. Now, let's talk about uh, the heart because a lot of uh, the issues of life are in our heart. Right. And uh, I think that, uh, I think a young guy, I'd like to hear what you have to say about your, about the heart. All right. Um, we're just talking about the, you know, this interview. Uh, I've started a, a foundation called the Heart of Kansas City. Mm. And so I think that's scary. With me personally, yeah. my heart is everything. Me as a person, I give everything from my heart. So with my foundation, it's not that I'm doing it to get money, because I'm doing what I want with my life, and that's playing basketball. So everything that I do it is from the heart. You know, as a, a son, I love my mom from the heart. For me, wanting to give back to my community, I'm doing it from my heart. So I think the heart is a major key and I, and I pride myself on my heart because I'm a good person and I want people to know I'm a good person but at the same time if you don't it's not going to make me a break because I'm still going to continue to do the things that I want with my life. That's one thing man. That heart is very important because everything lies I think in our heart. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the spirit, your spirit and your soul? You know and, and I want you to really talk about that because that right there, we're talking about mind, body, heart, spirit, and soul. And our kids, I think, sometimes will get a bad, a bad uh, attitude or, or disappointments. And, and so they just, they don't even, their spirit just goes, or goes out of whack. Talk mm -hmm. about that. I mean, spirit and soul is everything. I mean, it's your body, your mind, your heart. I think your soul and your spirit lives on. So if you take care of those things, even when you're gone, people are going to remember who That's you good. are. <laughs> That's good. You know what I'm saying? You're going to always, That's no good. matter if I'm gone, on my gravestone, it's going to read Marcus Walker. So when people come and they look at that, I'm not physically there, but what would they say about me from looking at that song? Ooh, that's pretty good. I like that. So, I mean, you got to always think about, not only about yourself, but for me, I'm doing everything for my, my family. I've learned in a class in college, I think it was my senior year, and it stuck with me from that point on. Um, I don't know if it was my philosophy class, it was something, but it, the teacher basically said, why do you think people stay in low class? Why do you think people are middle class or high class? And she said, it's a choice. And it's, for me, for my family, if I want them to move out of that lower class, I have to work hard and prepare my family and be, you know, the front runner for my family to know that the way of thinking that we've had from that point on, it goes through generations. So 
If my mama was low class, who's gonna break us out of that, out of that rank? That's Is right. it gonna be me? Right. Is it gonna be my little brother? You know, it's so on and so on. So for me, it's about getting my family out of that, that way of thinking to where we can move to the middle class, where we can move to higher class. Because I don't want my family struggling if my ancestors before me struggle and it's a repeated cycle. Yes. Now, that's, that's very good right there. Now, let me ask you this. We talk about the mind, body, heart, spirit, and soul. How can you wrap that all up in a real good statement and message to our young folks, our young athletes? Because a lot of young people out there who know who you are, they look at you as a role model for our community and someone that they can talk to and so express to the audience about the mind, body, heart, and soul, and spirit, and how do, how do you wrap that all up in one big enchilada? Um. I think for me personally, wrapping it all together is knowing who you are. Um, the main reason why I want to start my community center, why I want to reach out to the youth and not just focus on the youth, I want to help everybody if possible. That means adults, um, everybody. I, I just feel that you got to know who you are. A lot of things get done, a lot of people get into it or do things in their life because they don't understand who they are. So they go off and try to be something that they're not. I think just know who you are, focus on what you want in life, write goals. I think it's my godfather from the seventh grade, he sat me down. What do you want to be in life? Write them down. It don't matter what it is. You, it could be so far-fetched from what you want, a photographer. Um, you want to go deep sea diving, write it down. Then start checking them, checking them off. If you never check them, that don't mean that you're unsuccessful. It just means that you got a lot of things on your, I guess you can call it a bucket list at a young age. Right. And check it off. Right. Right. Now, where are you playing at this summer around Kansas City? Where somebody, somebody young folks might be watching this, watching this. They might like want to come meet you or something. Or you hanging out somewhere. Um, for me, man, I'm everywhere with basketball. I got... Penn Valley, you know, community college. I work out at North Kansas City Community Center. Um, I plan on going back to Grandview High School and working out my alma mater, Archbishop O'Hare High School. Um, for me, man, I'm everywhere. I'm active. Uh, you can see me at Stop the Violence Kansas City meetings. Um, I just feel like, for me, as getting older, growing and getting contacts and making sure you stay in relations with these people can go a long way because it's not what you know, it's who you know. There you go. I like that. Well, you know, uh, Marcus, I really, really enjoyed talking to you today. Now, Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports is it had the the mindset. Now, we're talking about the mindset. We had the mindset to start uh, the City of Fountain Coaches uh, organization. And I think it's a very needed organization. I applaud Carlos's uh, efforts to start that organization because we need coaches to come together and and to be able to communicate and have relationships so that so that they can reach out over to the overall community. Mm -hmm. And I like for you to uh, go to their next meeting and just give them a word of, a, of a, one of our sons who have gone internationally internationally to do some things and talk about your commitment to our community. Okay. And so Carlos will be getting you in touch. I'm pretty sure, you know, he will call you okay. and uh, uh, bring you up on it. And don't and look at it as it might be very embryonic, but just look at what you could say and, and participate in in that meeting. Okay. And I always believe this. I always I learned this in the Cub Scouts when I was a little bitty guy. I uh, went all the way through the scouting program, and now I'm doing some other things in life. But I learned this one statement. The statement is, to look sharp is to be sharp. And that will go with you young folks out there in the audience, and it goes to a very big picture. To look sharp is to be sharp. But my name is Jim Watts. I'm a promoter with Vice Silas, Life, Health, and Prosperity. And give me a shake. Thank you very much.